Drawing is not only the basis of good paintings, but also an art in itself. Jill Bays is a highly regarded and popular teacher throughout the country. She has a gentle and well-proven teaching approach that will build your confidence and improve your skills. I get excited when I start to draw. I want to capture and to record some of the things I see about me. Now every child has the ability to draw, but when you're a grown up, you lose this spontaneity. So what I'm going to do is to try to show you how to recapture this feeling about drawing, to be able to draw. Right, we've come outside because the sun is shining and I'm going to decide what I'm going to draw. One of the ways I find quite helpful is to put my hands like this and to actually go around and look through the rectangle in my hands until I find a suitable subject. On the water here, um, there were some nice zigzaggy lines which give the composition some sort of feeling of movement here. Also, of course, I've got this uh, very deep reflection here, um, which would take quite a bit of working up. You've got darks and lights. The waters are kind of myriads of shapes and reflections and ripples. So that you'll find that you're using your pencil in all sorts of different ways. Well, we're back in the studio now, now, and I hope I've been able to provide you with a framework with which to work and to give you a sort of structured approach. Uh, but of course, the key to it all is practice, 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 and daily if you can, but just don't stop drawing. And finally, I want to show you some sketches and paintings that I've done previously, which put into practice some of the things that we've talked about. For instance, here we've got some little figures, which are light shapes against the dark. And it's quite interesting, actually, because you can see all these little negative shapes appearing here. In this still life here, it's a line and wash. You can see the pen lines quite distinctly. You can see the washes here, dark to light, etc. A bit of stipple work here when you use a stippling uh, action here. But you can also see how the shapes around are important. There, 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 and there. In this drawing of a geranium, which is uh, drawn in coloured pencils, the principles are the same. You have to compose it, make a shape, work into it with the other shapes, bearing in mind the distances between each part here. And you work on it, but using colour instead of a lead pencil. In this watercolour drawing here, uh, the rather horizontal composition here, the sea and the shore and the line here, is broken up with the vertical lines of the sails. The people, here and their reflections help to add interest to a lively scene.